these just leaked. Well, no, let's actually go to this. This is more interesting news. So, I guess I mentioned it earlier before, or maybe in the previous show, but essentially, um, 2020 is cancelled, I think, for the entire, or for where I am in the UK. I'm not sure where you are, but um, at least for us, it's completely cancelled. I'm, I'm all right with it. I think I came to a resolution or realization of, uh, a few months ago. Because I guess I mentioned it prior, but my analogy that I always use is like, I feel as soon as the government got involved and sort of like lock stuff down and tell people, tell businesses to close and all this sort of stuff, I kind of, I kind of likened it to when you're at a really banging house party and then the police get called because of noise complaints. And then that immediately shuts the rave off and immediately causes certain people to leave. It kind of ruins the mood. It dampens them in for a certain part. And even if you restart the rave again, it's never the same as it was prior. Um, it's not like one of those scenes out in a movie where like, it's like, you know, they pull the cord out, the generator runs out and then you plug it back in again, it just pops off. It's not like that. Usually the longer a period of silence happens, especially with police around there, usually parties suffer and you can't really start it up. So I think my analogy was that the government were essentially the police and they had no plan of how to restart things. They had no plan of how to kind of reopen the economy in a safe way. They had no plan of how to kind of safeguard businesses, um, how to alleviate the fears of parents with their children about going back to school, um, you know, give students a peace of mind. They had no plan. There was nothing in play, no constituencies. If anything, it's been, again, local grassroots organizations that have been really doing the hard work in terms of making sure everyone uh, has the necessary information to make the necessary adjustments in what they're doing in their life so did no part of me thought we were going to suddenly get back to normal no part of me believed this whole push to get people to have their summer holidays save your summer all this sort of stuff it was all it was all garbage if anything it was just maybe you know i would allege it might have been a process it might have been an issue of like our government and like you know governments of countries that we still kind of have links to being cahoots with their tourism or tourism departments and then trying to work out a deal so they can increase tourism in those countries whatever it may be but it, whatever it was it wasn't sincere so now we've got more news recently that we've got some other restrictions on the social gatherings in the UK that are going to further restrict people's movement. And if anything, put a final nail in a coffin for anybody that was thinking, oh, I'm going to save my year. Nope, it's completely done. Headline from Sky, Sky News says coronavirus social gatherings of more than six people to be banned in England from Monday. It says a big um, a ban on groups of more than six uh, people gathering in homes, parks and pubs and restaurants in England <clears throat> is being imposed by Boris Johnson. The biggest coronavirus crackdown since lockdown rules were eased. First offenders will be fined hundred pounds, which will be which will double on each uh, further repeat offence up to three thousand two hundred. The prime minister will announce in a bid to stem the alarming surge in COVID nineteen cases in the UK. So I guess you know this sounds like the police may be kind of rolling to this because I did always wonder like how were they enforcing these sort of things because it it kind of did get you know especially from the leadership from the top it kind of felt like all the precautions that we had concerning covid were just suggestions they weren't rules they weren't enforced in any kind of way now of course that might impede on your rights whatever let's put that to one side but i was wondering like legal 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 wise right in terms of legalities and in terms of just you know getting stuff done how would you enforce such a rule so i'm assuming this is the best way to get around it right you kind of strip down you strip it down to its bare necessities. You're like, hey, no more than six people. If you're outside, you get fined 100 pounds. So it kind of lays it um, bare there. It says, it continues, it says, um, we need to act now to stop the virus spreading. Ms. Johnson will declare a Downing Street news conference um, with a new advertising campaign that says, hands, face, space. Don't know what that means. Um, so we are simply strengthening the rules of social contact, making them easier to understand for the police to enforce. Like I mentioned, the PM will announce it is absolutely critical that people now abide by the rules. And remember the basic washing the fire pound and cover the face. Uh, that's what it sounds like in my head anyway. Uh, keeping space from others and getting a test if you have symptoms. Um, so what are the new rules? From next Monday, any gatherings of one six people in England will be illegal. This applies to gatherings both indoors and outdoors, which means most clubs and bars are probably done for the year then isn't it? how are they going to reopen the bars and clubs in, in under this um under these new rules um it continues says new rules do not apply to households and bubbles of more than six or gatherings for work or education again trying to get people back into the office it seems like um weddings funerals and organized team sports carried out in covid secure way are, are also exempt so i'm assuming 
there we go. There's money talking, right? The Premier League came in, the sponsors came in and said, hey, we need to have fans in stadiums one way or the other come next season. We can't, you know, we can't allow anything different. So that's interesting to see. It continues, says uh, people will be first for £100, but this will be doubled further to repeat offences of 3200 But like I said, it's just wild, isn't it? The year's officially over. Like it's done, done. Don't get me wrong. I was I, I, I'm, I, I, you know, I accepted it a while back, but this is in black and white. It's over. Whatever plans you had for the year, they're completely scuppered for the most part. If they, especially if they involve some sort of social gathering, which I'm assuming most people are, you know, are probably um, longing for. It's absolutely nuts, mate. It's absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. And there's no, there's no end in sight, right? We have New Year. Well, we have Halloween coming up very soon, right? I'm not sure where you are, but in the UK, Halloween's a big deal, especially for the average, average everyday, yeah, for the everyday folk. Um, Halloween, Easter, New Year's Eve are kind of some of the big sort of like party, or maybe just the bank holiday weekends, right? They're usually the kind of the big party, boozy up events. So I can just imagine people being locked down, just wanting to have a bit of a breather and just kind of let loose and during Halloween, how that's going to roll, especially with these new rules. Like, bloody hell, man. I do not envy those guys in that position at all. It's going to be a real, real tough thing to deal and handle in any kind of meaningful way.